glorify your holy name, King of kings, Lord of mercy, we have said so. Father, we thank you for the offering and our tithes. Father, we are here to obey your word in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, God bless us individually as well as collectively. Father, we bless us with the Holy Spirit. We glorify your holy name, take full control of our lives. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for answering our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. The next offering will come later. The mission offering and the women fundraising. Amen. I just want to welcome our chief from the Medellin Center. Chief Abu is in the house. Let's give him a hand. Thank you. Whatever honors you, honor you. Thank you so much for being here with us. Amen. Whatever else is here, we just want to welcome you. It's time. If you all have this paper, let's stand up. It's, we're going to sing the women. Chosen by the women because we're going to stand for Jesus in this church. No matter the matter, women, we're going to do it. Amen. 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 But that land, the women raised for. 
We've got the land. We are planning to do what we have to do. And then we came here. This baptism was not open. The women raised phone. They did that. Even the hall that we went to it, we met classrooms. Even this stage, it was like this small one for the women. They raised phone. Every year, we, raise, we have to bring up something to do something for the church. And this year, we have expanded. We have built church. If you see those in the church, that church is supposed to be to be roof before before this rainy season. And then we have mice. You see the mice? Ice making now. We came today. It was not working. That way we can even talk. But we want to buy music. And God will give you. We are not a church that will tell you bring 1,000 and 1,000 blessings. It is not in the Bible. We are not in that church. You give what you have. You cannot give what you don't have. How can I say, come and bring $1,000? That's your right. It's your right for me to come here and say, bring $1,000. It's your right. Tedans Union, they gave their own. Hallelujah. Yes, That's our chief. From the Med Army Med Day. And we have a group. And that's our chief. Chief Devo, can you stand up and wave? Because this is a form we're going to use. Let's stand up. Let people come and drop in. What do I have to give my love? What do I have? Ministry in 
Bethel, Texas. If you ever visit Bethel, Texas, look for the church. And the church say, Amen. Amen. People of God, this great woman of God accepted the Lord at an early age of 20 years old and began her personal relationship with Jesus Christ, our Savior, until now. In 2006, because of Rabbi Bajum, a powerful prayer intercessor, diligently seeking the Lord for the salvation of lost souls in the kingdom of God. Amen. Again, in 2007, Rabbi Bajum accepted the call to preach the good news of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Then on January 20 of 2008, after schooling and training, Reverend Boyum was licensed as a minister of the gospel. Give God a hand for that. <laughs> on October 25th of 2008, that same year again, Reverend Boyum was solemnly and publicly set apart in a day as a minister of the gospel. Due to her faithfulness and diligently seeking the Lord on November 2008 of that same year, Pastor Bayou was installed as the senior pastor of the House of Prayer of Tabernacle Ministries. Amen. People of God, under the leadership of this mighty woman of God, the House of Prayer Tabernacle Ministry has expanded and they have experienced the miraculous power and presence of the Lord spiritually and physically. Church, at this time I will ask you to please stand with me. Hallelujah. Of hallelujah. Hey, everybody say. Let the church say amen. amen. Yes, we want to give God all the praise here today. Amen. We want to give God all the glory. Amen. Besides this being a women's conference, today is Palm Sunday. Yeah. Every reason why we need to celebrate the Lord. The Lord among the Lords. The Lady in the Valley in the Bright and Morning Star. We come to celebrate you here today, oh God. We come to give you all the praise and all the glory, but we say thank you first for waking us up this morning in our life of minds. Lord, it was not about the exercise. It was not about the vitamins. So we come to say thank you, oh God. I pray to you, oh God, that the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in our sight, O oh Lord, you are my strength and my redeeming. I pray, O oh God, that the word will take roots and bear fruits in the lives of your people. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. After Mr. Faith has spoken to me, the empowered women, the empowered women, I want all the women in this church here today to say, God has empowered me. God has empowered me. Yes, I didn't say men have empowered you, but God has empowered you. Yes, God has empowered us to do what? Preach his word. And we're going to get to that. But first of all, let us get to understand what the definition of women empowerment means from different sites. From Wikipedia, women's empowerment is the process in which Women elaborate and recreate what is that to be done by them. And to accomplish circumstances that they previously were denied. Women Empowerment Church is basically giving power to women in the space of society where they didn't have it. It is a process of making them a part of decision making in certain areas where they did not have it. We talk about empowerment because it enables women to have power also over their own lives. Now let's see what does that mean in the Bible when you say women empowerment. 
For short, the definition of the word in Tumuts means a fill with power. Strength make strong. Notice the definition includes the truth that there is power coming from someone else. Power coming from the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of the true and living God empowers us all to be able to do all things through Jesus Christ who strengthens us. Amen. Now, church, what is empowerment spiritually? Since we are all church folks, what is empowerment spiritually? Spiritual empowerment is about being confident in your ability to reflect and tap into your mind, your body, and your spirit. It's being able to explore the energy inside you that makes you. No, I don't think you heard what I said. It's being able to explore the energy inside you that makes you. You to discover your dreams, your passions, and to uncover and connect with your true self. It's about connecting with the divine in you. If women were not in churches today, I don't know how churches would be. I really don't know how churches would be. Because today, women take four roles in churches. Being pastors, being deaconesses, being ushers, being leaders of every church. You find women in churches. But who empower us? The Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. When the woman was at the well, and they did not want to be associated with her. Hmm. Because, you know, we always like to judge one another. Hmm. So she had to make sure at a point, certain point of time, that's when she had to go to the well when nobody else was there. Yeah. But she went to the well church at this time at the right time. Yeah. There is always a right time in your life when you meet the Lord and say that Jesus Christ. Yeah. When men have their spies, And the Bible tells me, Christian friends, even though men despise them, the Christians say there's a time for everything. A time to live and a time to die. And James said there's a time to speak and a time to keep silent. God said to her, woman, this is the best part that Mary is getting the teaching to understand the word of God. Women no longer belongs only in the kitchen. I did not say don't belong in the kitchen. I said not only belong in the kitchen. Women do only belong in the kitchen, church. And that's the reason why we have to get empowered. We have to get education. Because back in those days, they didn't want women to learn. They didn't want women to have education. They just wanted women to have babies and wanted women to take care of their home. But things had changed when Jesus came. When Jesus arose, he rose up and he started speaking to women, church. Today, women are empowered. We got women who are presidents of nations. We have women who are second in command in the White House in the great United States of America. We have women Christian friends in the United Nations. We have women leading churches. We have women leading offices. We have women with businesses. We have women, you know why? Because God empowered women. He came for everyone. He said, go ye into the world. He didn't say just men go into the world. He said, go ye into the world and preach. Tell the good news. In the church that year, at the end of that year, he was gone. And friends in the community, women and men, Pastor Yippo, you'll be the only woman pastor in the community. You, 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 able to run the church. I said, the Lord said to me, he, God, called me, not me. That was the first year of the anniversary of the church church. House of Prayer Tabernacle International Ministry is 15 years old. If you listen to the voice of mankind, you will never do what God has destined you to do. Amen. You cannot listen to the voice of man, church. You have to listen to the voice of God. When God 
better for you. Amen. You don't listen to men, church. And I say to you today on Women's Empowerment Day, women of act of God, yeah. you can do it in Jesus' name. Yeah. The prayer warriors. The prayer warriors. Check in line. It's 90% of women. And what the Bible tells us, cease not to pray. Pray in and out of season. For Satan is a rolling lion seeking to devour God's people. So as I speak to you today, I say thank you for the invitation. And I pray to you that the power of the Holy Spirit will empower up of God, the servant of God, women, to do more than what you're doing now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.